Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In day to day life, we try to see the display panels in RTC bus stands, in airport, in metro stations, in railway stations too friends. The same thing we try to do by using the Arduino Uno friends. We try to read the time by using the RTC and display on a 4-7 segment display friends. The 4-7 segment display which has been controlled by a TM1637 chip friends. Now without any further delay, now let us dive into the project friends. So for this project, what are the things that are required? The first, the most important one will be the TM1637 friends. So this is the TM1637. It is having the four segments in between the column is there friends. So this is the one we are going to use in our project. From here, I am taking the female to male. These are the four connections. These are the four wires friends. The, sec the second, the most important one will be the DS1307, which is nothing but the RTC friends. So it is also placed the point cell, that is a 3 point, 3 volts point cell, which will run automatically without the power print. So it can take a backup print. So from here, I have taken the female to the male connection port. So this has been connected over the I2C print. The most important one will be the Arduino Uno R3. You can see it over here, friends. So this is the board we want to connect it. And for this connection, you can take the mini or you can take the medium or a large breadboard friends. So you can take it. For this project, we are taking one chamber, a brick pad, you can take it. In order to flash the core and get the power, we need to have a USB A to B cable friends. You can see it over here. These are the required resources for this project diagram frame. So here is the connecting diagram. Here you can see the UNO R3. On to my left hand side, 5 volts and ground will be there. On to my right hand side, you can see the SD and SCF. And pin number 5 and 6. So these are the things we try to use it from the UNO R3 frame. Now you can see the RTC. That is nothing but the TS1307. And you can see the 7th segment, which is controlling the 4 7 segment that it has an IC. That is nothing but the TM1637 friend. So these are the connecting wires. Now let us see the connection friend. From 5 volts, I am taking over here. And you can see it. Okay. I am handovering to the RTC friend. This is the VCC I am handovering. And similarly, I am extending and handovering to the VCC of the TM1637 friend. Now I am taking the ground, you can see it over here. Now I am drawing like this and hand over into the ground of the TM1307. And now I am extending and I am hand over into the RTC ground frame. So these two, VCC and the ground, is nothing but the power supply to the TM1307, TM1637, which is completed. Frame. Now let us take from SDA. Now, I am handovering to the SD of the RTC and now I am taking from SCL and handovering to the SCL of an RTC friend. Now I am taking the clock from here and now you can see I am handovering to the clock of the PM1637 and I am taking the digital input output. So which is nothing and I am taking over here and handovering to the DIO of the PM1637 friend. So this is the connecting diagram. This TM1637 IC, which is controlling the four, four seven segments friends. So this is the one, this is the two, this is the three, this is the four. So in this one, in these two segments, we are displaying the covers. Okay, it is in a column and minutes friends. So like this, we are displaying. This is hours and minutes. In hours, we are representing as a 24 format, 24 hours format friends. So this is the connecting diagram frame. Now let us see the connections friends. On to the left hand side, I place the UNO R3, RTC and the display friends. So first one I am taking the this green color wire is nothing but the SDA. I am handovering onto the SDA. The second one I am handovering onto the SCL friends. You can uh, see it over here. And the first one will be the ground. So I am taking, we have the two grounds. I am handovering to the ground. 
we have only one 5 volts so I am keeping on to the here friends because we don't have the 5 volts too so I am keeping so this is the RTC connection so this last wire is the ground so I am giving on to the ground friends you can see it okay so the second one pin will be nothing but as an in 5 volts so I am taking over here and hand overing on to the here friends and if you can see the first one is nothing but the fifth one we are going to give it that is nothing but the clock and the sixth one we we given as in DIO digital input and output that is a data pin so now I am taking the one more wire and I am taking from 5 volts you can see it over here friends so this is the 5 volts I am taking okay and I am hand overing to the here friends this is the 5 volts so now the final after the connections it looks like this friends before jumping on to the code, now let us see the how a TM 1637 will work friends. So now you can see the pin diagram. So it is having like this and it can control the segments by using the segment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is a 7 segment display. Like that how many 7 segments it can control. Grid 1, grid 2, grid 3, grid 4, grid 5, grid 6. So totally it can control like as in a 6 great friends now let us move to the next one so, the six seven segments each seven segment is called as in a common anode friends so this is the common anode so everything it has been a to j it has been connected over here friends and now let us move up so in order to write into this one we have in a three set of any registers it has been there friends which is nothing but the b7 and b6 if it's a 0 1 it is a data command string if it's a 1 0 it is a display and control command string a setting if it is a one one it is an address command string friends now let us move to the display control command strings now if you can move it here this is the display control i can see it b0 b1 b2 from 0 0 to 7 it is controlling the brightness friends and it is a display on and off so this b6 and b7 is common but these values shows that what operation it has to do so this is the control friends now let us move on to the address command setting friends if it is b6 and b7 is one one you can write this see, all of them is zero means channel zero one means channel one channel two channel three channel four and channel five so whatever you are writing in this channel that will be displayed on the particular segment friends so in our case we have in a four segments so channel zero channel one channel two and channel three will be used four and five we are not at all been using friends but this chip has a capacity can drive on to the six seven segment display friends now let us move to the first one so that is nothing but the data command setting friends this is b7 and b6 is nothing but the zero one so this is the first thing and by what you want we want to write into the register so we want to read from the register so address indexing so all these things we need to set it off by using this so by using these three commands we need to write it friends but what is the protocol what is the interface now if we can over here this clock is nothing is going on this one first we need to drive the data pin as in alone that is a start byte and command one where you need to set the data command two is nothing but to set the address and after that one you need to write so this command one will be nothing but as in a this one print data command setting and this command two is nothing but the which channel we need to write it and after that one this data is nothing but the what you want to display on a segment one two three like that and followed by the stop command friends so like this this protocol is happening it is not an i2c friend it is not at all an i2c friend so this is the understanding about the tm now i have opened the arduino ide 2.1.0 now i have taken the code and pasted over here and for this project so we are reading from the rtc the prerequisite will be the ds1307 rtc library we need to install it and before that we need to set the time and we need to read means we need to comfortable with as an rtc for the most interesting one we have done this one and we have read the time using the ds1307 rtc so you can refer it for understanding friends so here we for the displaying the time on the tm1637 we need to install tm1637 uh, library friends so i have installed so next one in this case i am te i am telling the clock as a five and this the data pin as a six i am taking the class class instance as a display with as an 
input up in a clock and data and in the setup i am making the serial begin serial initialization and i'm and setting the brightness of the display is nothing but the five which can take zero to seven and i'm clearing the display so here is the setup is done and in the loop the first thing is i am reading the time from the rtc and which is having the tm dot hour and tm dot min so these two things i am taking the rest of the thing i am not so first tm dot hour which is the two digits so i am displaying from the position zero to two and which i am enabling with as a caller and which as a flag is enabled like as an in a toggling of the caller so i have done like this and after the last two digits i am printing as any minutes so this time it has been printed in a 24 hours for my friends as the time if you cannot read the time from the rtc you can we can get this error because the chip didn't find or you are unable to reset the time so and and the same thing you can see the display over the UART also friends. Now let me go to the sketch, verify and compile it. And it is successfully compiled friends. Now we able to, here is the demo, you can watch it friends. It is displaying the time in 24 hours for me. That is nothing but the hours and minutes friends. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. That will help a lot to grow the channel friends. If you have any doubts related to this project, please write in the comment section friends. Thanks for watching this video friends. Thank you. Bye.